Hi, so welcome to another episode of uh, Beginners SolidWorks CAD Modeling. So I'm going to do a shoulder screw. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be a little close to 10 minutes. It's got threads, it's got um, knurling and other things. So we'll see how it get, get along. I'm not going to fast forward it. I'm going to just take however long it's going to take. Um, I'm going to aim it to cover it in 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let me... Go SolidWorks. That was the last video. I'm gonna. Sorry, let me just save that. So that way. Okay. So file new part. Okay. Okay. So sketch. It'll ask you which plane you want to. I'm gonna do a front plane. As I said, it's not uh, to scale. I'm gonna, so. All right. So I'm gonna zoom in. Let's say the thread is an M4, okay? I'm gonna make that four millimeters. That distance is about 15. So the shoulder, let's make it 10 millimeters. And the depth is about 20. And that's the head. Let's make that as 10. And Add one is maybe 25. All right, the shoulder maybe we can do it as eight millimeters. And this one, that's a 10 millimeters, okay. So, okay, so maybe 11, okay. Okay, so that's the profile. I'm going to go to exit the sketch, go to feature, revolve. I'm going to click the axis and you get your basic sketch. I think that particular piece can be a little longer. So I'm going to go back to sketch, click edit sketch. I'm going to make it 15. Okay. Okay. That's a rough idea. So plane weight. So I'm going to go start adding some knurling as a first thing. So go to sketch. Pick a right plane, normal to. I'm going to go very close and I'm going to add. Okay, just a line. I'm going to add a little more line properties. I'm trying to add a fillet, just didn't want to take. So maybe it's just two millimeters. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So that's my profile. And I'm going to go to the right plane, sketch. Before that, I'm going to create a plane. So right top plane, if I go to normal to, so perpendicular to. I'm going to go to features, reference, Sorry, I'm jumping around. I just want to create a plane at that edge. So reference plane, and I'm going to click that particular point. So that's the plane I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to click that plane, go to sketch, sketch, now normal to. I'm going to create a triangle, really small one. 
so three the dimensions gonna be maybe two it's still too much maybe just one and that one okay now we're gonna select the plane move entities and we'll click from that plane to that point okay that's very important also it's undo I just want to double check it looks like it hasn't connected that point so I'm gonna go select that point select that point and make it coincident okay now it's connected okay so that plane, I can hide it right now. That plane. Oh. So feature. Sweep. That's the profile. And that's the path. So, but we don't need addition so sorry we should be picking cut sweep so that's the profile and that's the part let's see if it's too big or too small no that's fine i'm gonna go circular pattern i'm gonna click that as a direction and the feature i'm gonna click that feature So I'm going to add maybe a few more. Let's see how it goes, looks. Okay, so I'm going to go in and turn the plane off. Uh, that should be all right, yeah? So sketch, normal to, circle, Let's do that as an M10. So also we need it to be a hexagon. Six. So. Feature, extrude cut, select that profile, blind, six millimeters. Okay. And now I need to do is Add a chamfer. Extrude cut. I should have done. What I made a mistake is in this one, that should have been a separate sketch. I'll just delete that. And then go to sketch, normal to. Okay, now go back to extrude cut. Maybe I'm going to do two millimeters, but making sure it's about 45 degrees and let's see how it looks. Yep, that's fine. Also, we need to add a little bit of chamfer to the top edge. I'm going to click that. Circle. I'm going to roughly bring it over here. It's a little shy of the knurling. Doesn't like something I did. doesn't 
like to dimension that for some reason. Okay, 20. Maybe okay, and then go to feature, extrude cut. We're gonna do similar, but we're gonna flip outside and add an angle 45. Yep, that's beautiful. And we want to add the threads now. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a little bit of fillet to that particular region. So five, two. Okay, and the thread feature is not applicable if you are using a very old software. Uh, this one at the moment I'm using is 2016. About, about SOLIDWORKS. So I'm using, sorry, 2022 SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so this is very recent. So I'm gonna go whole wizard thread. So I'm going to click the thread location and blind up to section. I'm going to click that section. Okay. So we're going to do metric four millimeters M4. Could be any thread you want. At the moment, what we said is like we're going to do M4. Let's say 0.7. Extrude thread and say okay. Okay. So one more thing is that edge is not clean. So we're going to come in, add a sketch, normal to. I'm going to just create a slightly bigger circle and go to features. Extrude cut, I'm going to do probably a millimeter or probably 0.5. It's clean. There you have it. Doing a shoulder screw. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, help me out. Uh, Till next time, I'm going to do more uh, five to 10 minute SOLIDWORKS model. Have fun, keep SOLIDWORKS modeling. Bye.